Today I'm going to show you the Captain America design. It's very similar to the flash that I filmed last week, um, but we're using blues and we'll add a few different details to make it look, you know, special like Captain America. Um, so let's get started. I loaded up, I'm using Iceland, which is, it's global, dark blue, teal, and white. Uh, the first stroke, I'm going right across her forehead, starting from this eyebrow and doing a semicircle to that, to the edge of that eyebrow. And I go over it a few times just to make sure it's a smooth curve. Okay. Next, I'm doing this angry brow. I'm flipping the brush so that the light color's on top. That gives the illusion of 3D, like it's a highlight on top. And I'm bringing it across two-thirds of the way, and then down. And doing the same thing on this side. Bring it up two-thirds of the way, across the eye, and down. And the reason we go two-thirds of the way across is so that it gives it an angry look instead of a surprised look. Do not peek in the middle. It'll look more surprised than angry. And then I connect those. Now I'm going to mirror that same stroke for the cheekbones. So I'm going to start up here at the bridge of the nose. I'm going to bring it down two-thirds of the way across the eye and up. So across and then up. Notice the light color is still on top because I still want that to look like a highlight. Like the light is hitting the top and this is a shadow at the bottom. And then I do the same thing over here. Down, just a little for this side and then up the rest of the way. Okay. This gap, I'm just gonna fill with the light color. And I don't worry too much for this to be perfect. Yes, it's gonna look a little streaky, but that's okay. I'm gonna have glitter, I'm gonna have the A on there. You'll have plenty of things to camouflage that. So, so far it's exactly like the flash design, but in blue. On the bottom, I'm going right in front of the eye. I don't go off to the sides over here because I want people to see it from the front for a picture. So I go right in front of the eye with the dark color on the inside and I bring it down. And I flip my brush and I use an angle, like I'm not horizontal, I'm coming at an angle to fill this gap. And I'm bringing it down beside that stroke. If you have any gaps, you can fill them in. Same thing on this side. Right in front of the eye, straight down, flip the brush, and bring it to a point at the bottom. Now, on the flash, I leave this open because I'm adding yellow ovals. But I'm not adding yellow ovals on this. So on this one, I want a smoother edge. So to create a smoother edge, and so I don't have bumps here, I load again, and I'm just, I'm just connecting all of this here. And you can go over some of this to neaten it up. And same thing here, you see how it goes in and out? So I just want to smooth this out and connect all of that so I have a, a clean line at the end. That's it for the blue. Here you add some superpowers. Close your eyes, please. I ask them if they want superpowers and they get glitter. Next, we're going to add the details that make it especially Captain America. So Captain America gets the letter A on the forehead and some wings on the side. So for the letter A, if you struggle with symmetry, I recommend marking on either side two little lines so you know it's equal, equal distance. And then you can also mark the top of the A. And that way you know you're going to have a symmetrical A. And then I connect them. And I don't worry too much if the blue picks up. I think it's fine. And I go across. Now that I have a little bit of white left, I'm going and I'm going to add some subtle highlights at the tops of the brow strokes and the tops of the cheekbone strokes. Sometimes I bring this down. You want to reload your white now for the, the wings on the side of the face. The side of the face, I use a series of teardrops starting here in the temple. And really it varies on the kid's hairline. So you look at the space you're working with and you're gonna add a longer teardrop and smaller ones cascading down. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. A longer teardrop and then shorter ones cascading down. Now if you were in a rush and you were speed painting, like I often do gigs where it's free to the public and you have a huge long line, you want to leave it just like that, let them go, you have a 3D effect, they're super happy. But if you're at a birthday party and you want to add more detail, 
you load up a darker color. You can use a darker blue or black. And you're going to add your line work in. I'm going to start with the C for the angry brow. I'm going to go underneath here and flick up. I want to make sure to flick up to the top of this stroke. I don't want to cut this in. I don't want a thin brow. I want it to be nice and bold and thick. And then I go underneath and I press at the peak and pick up here. And then I go the same thing here. Go here, press, and pick up. I do a few flicks in here for more expression. I flick at the top of the brow and at the bottom of the cheekbone. And these are kind of like tiger stripes where it's going thin to thick to thin. I outline the outside of these teardrops. Going down. And you're basically just following your wherever your dark blue is, you're outlining. I think that's it on that side. I'm going to do the same thing I did on that side on this side. Okay. Now for the letter A, you can leave it like that, but if you're comfortable, what I like to do is flatten my brush so that it's like very thin, like a blade like this. I don't know if you can see that. And I go and I do very thin, delicate outlines around the A. It gives it a more finished look. Not necessary, but I think it looks cool. Now some extra lines. Because these are masks, these are usually made out of fabric or metal or something, so you can add a few lines to indicate the seams where there will be some stitching and do like subtle curves. Okay. And if you wanted to, you can go in with some white and do very similar, flatten your brush so you can get a very thin line and you can highlight those. Ooh, those are already highlighted and it makes these stand out more. Okay, this is another stopping point. You could totally leave the kit just like this. Or if you want to add a little more dimension, and a little more of that comic book feel, load some of your black. And I use the graffiti eye stencil. I'm gonna use this middle one to create a shadow here under the cheekbone. So I just rub in some black here. And that gives the illusion that the, the cheek is sinking in and the cheekbone is standing out. And the same thing on this side. Then I use this corner one to go right underneath that brow stroke. And it makes it look like the mask is kind of coming off the face and the eye is sinking in just a little. All right, and then that's the finished look. It's very similar to the other superheroes, except it has wings in the A. For Batman, it would get a nose and ears. And for the Flash, it would get lightning bolts instead. Uh, I hope that's helpful for you guys at your at your gigs. Oh, and as usual, we always forget a few strokes. It's usually not noticeable, but I notice, so hey, you can outline those. Enjoy.